get started on making our circle of petals for our pot petals blanket. I am going to be using one ball of Bernat Pop yarn. You're gonna go ahead and pull out your yarn from the middle. This one got a little tangled. Okay. We're gonna start by making a magic loop. We're going to chain one. And then we're gonna make eight single crochets in the loop. Now I'm gonna pull tight and I'm gonna to join to that first single crochet. And we're going to chain two. There's my join, chain two. And now we're gonna make two double crochets in each stitch around. Now you should have a total of 16 double crochets. I'm going to join to my first double crochet, not my chain two. And now I am going to start on the third round. For the third round, we're gonna start by chaining three. We're gonna skip a stitch and we're gonna slip stitch to join to the next. Chain three again, skip a stitch, slip stitch to the next. Chain three, skip a stitch, slip stitch to join to the next. We're gonna do this all the way around until we have eight chain three spaces. can see I'm going to skip that last stitch and I'm going to join right here my beginning stitch okay and now we are going to start on round four for round four we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain three space okay then we are going to chain three we're going to make three double crochets right over this chain three space. Now we're gonna make another chain three and we're gonna join it right back to the same chain three space we're working in. And that makes our first petal. We're gonna do the same all the way around in each of these chain spaces. So slip stitch over, chain three, three double crochet, chain three again, and slip stitch to join. Slip stitch over, chain three, three double crochets, Another chain three, and slip stitch to join. We now have three petals. Continue, continue doing this in each of these chain three spaces until you get to the end. Here we are at the end of round four. You should have eight petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now to start round five, you're going to just chain two 
and then you're gonna peek right behind this petal and you're gonna see there's there's a stitch here that we had skipped remember all these stitches we had skipped one stitch um, over in round three well now we're gonna use the skip stitch and that stitch is always gonna be directly behind your petal so I'm gonna work in that stitch right here behind my petal and we're gonna start by making three double crochets in that one that first stitch behind the first petal okay now in the second petal and all the remaining petals we're gonna do four double crochets in each of them see how I'm just kind of pulling this down so I can easily see that stitch that I need to work in Okay, and now I've worked in all those spaces behind all my petals. Here are my petals, they kind of pop up now, and here's that row behind it. And now we're going to join to the first double crochet, not this chain two, the chain two just brought me over so I could work behind the petals. So I'm gonna join right here to my first double crochet. And now we're gonna do, just as we have done before, and we're gonna start making chain three spaces again. So this is now round six, and we are going to chain three. We're gonna skip a stitch, and we're gonna join to the next. All the way around. Chain three, skip a stitch, join to the next. Skip, join. This will give us a total of 15 chain three spaces when we're done. I'm joining to the last space. I skipped this, joining to the last. It's always good practice to count all of your spaces just to make sure you're making the right amount. So we should have 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's perfect. And I just want to um, make note of this for you guys. Sometimes um, your spaces will end on this last stitch and sometimes you'll connect your chain three to, to this spot where you had started. It doesn't matter, just be sure that um, you have the correct amount of chain three spaces. It should all work out evenly and you really shouldn't have to think about it. Um, but don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're joining to, to the last stitch or joining here to where you first started. Okay, and that was the end of round six and now let's begin on round seven okay let's begin round seven 
Now this round is going to work just as we had done in round four. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to slip stitch over. So we're working in our first chain three space. We're going to chain three and then we're going to make three double crochets in that space. Another chain three and slip stitch to join Ooh, right to that chain three space. And we have made the first petal in this round. Slip stitch over, chain three, three double crochets, another chain three, slip stitch to join. There's our second petal. So we're doing petals just like we did in this round. I'll do one more and then I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, I've just made my last petal here in round seven. You should have 15 petals. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, and now we're gonna start on round eight. And just like we did before, we're gonna be working in that skip stitch right behind our petals. Okay, so we're gonna chain two, just so we can get ourselves over here. <clears throat> okay, and here's my first skipped stitch. And I am going to make two double crochets in this stitch. Okay, now in the rest of the skipped stitches behind the petals, I'm gonna be making three double crochets. Okay, so two in the first one, three in the second one. Again, I'm just kind of pushing down those petals so I can reach my hook behind here and work in that stitch. Your petals should be kind of curling up together. And this is the look. And um, one thing I like to do is keep my tension pretty loose. Um, <clears throat> so it doesn't get too tight. Right, working in the next one, three double crochets. Okay, continue around making three double crochets behind that skips behind the pedal in that skip stitch, and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round eight. I made two double crochets in that first skip stitch behind my pedal and three double crochets and all of the rest for a total of 44 double crochets. Now I'm going to join to that first double crochet and we're gonna start on round nine and we're gonna go ahead and make 22 chain three spaces. So you can see this pattern starts to repeat itself. We're just increasing though. So chain three, skip a stitch, join, chain three, skip a stitch, join, chain three again, skip, join, continue all the way around making 22 chain three spaces. Okay, I have finished round nine. I have made 22 chain three spaces. And now for round 10, we are gonna make 22 petals in these chain three spaces. So slip stitch over. So I'm working in that first chain three space, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, slip stitch to join. Let's make another petal. Good. 
Okay, and I'm confident you guys can go ahead and make the remainder of the petals in these chain three spaces, and I will meet you at the end of round 10. At the end of round 10, you should have 22 petals made all the way around. You'll see it starts curling a little bit, but that's okay because once we're done, you're gonna lay it flat and all of these petals are gonna curl up and look so nice. So keep going and we're gonna start on round 11. We're gonna be working in those skip stitches behind our petals and this time we're gonna make three double crochets behind each petal. So I already made my chain two and now I'm making three double crochets right in that skip stitch. Okay, again, three double crochets all the way around. Okay, just like that. I'll meet you at the end of the round. Let me turn this over and show you actually real quick. Looks really beautiful from the back and you can actually count your stitches this way as well. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you at the end of this round. You will have 66 double crochets. At the end of round 11, you have your 66 double crochets. This is our round right here behind the petals. You made three double cro crochets in each uh, skip stitch behind the petals for a total of 66. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna join to my first double crochet. And now we're gonna make our chain three spaces. We're gonna make 33 of these chain three spaces. So chain three, skip a stitch, join. Try that again. Let's try my join again. Okay, <laughs> chain three, skip a stitch, join. Chain three, skip a stitch, join. All the way around. Here we are at the end of round 12. I am have made my last chain three. I'm gonna skip that last stitch. I'm gonna join to the spot where I started for a total of 33 chain spaces. Okay, and now let's go ahead and make our petals. Slip stitch over so you're working in that first chain three space. Chain three, three double crochets. Another chain three, slip stitch to join. There's my first petal. Let's do it again. Slip stitch over, chain three, one, two, three double crochets, my chain three, and slip stitch to join. There's my first, I'm gonna lay this flat. There's my first two petals in this round, this is um, round 13. You're gonna continue making the rest of your petals in all of the chain three spaces all the way around. You're gonna have a total of 33 petals. Here we are at the end of round 13. You should now have 33 petals going all the way around and look how beautifully our Bernat Pop yarn is naturally changing color. I love how this looks. You uh, will notice that your piece starts to curl a bit, uh, kind of get wavy, but not to worry because this was our last increase round. So now um, we're only gonna have 33 petals from now on. So you will see this will start to, um, to just even itself out and not curl up like this in a little bit. So let's keep going. We are gonna start on round um, 14. We are gonna start by chaining two, and then we're gonna make two double crochets in each of the skip stitches behind each petal. 
So two double crochets in each of these all the way around. Okay, I've done the first couple. Now I'm going to continue making two double crochets behind each petal and I'll meet you at the end. Here at the end of round 14, I have made two double crochets, um, each stitched behind my petals, as you can see. And I have a total of 66 double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and join Join to my first double crochet. And now I'm gonna make my chain three spaces. Skip a stitch, join, skip a stitch, join, all the way around. And just as the previous round of petals, we're gonna do it's going to be 33 again. So you're going to have 33 chain spaces at the end of this round. Okay, continue along. And I'll see you at the beginning of round 16. Okay, I'm just finishing up round 15. I'm skipping my last stitch, joining to that first spot. So now I have 33 chain three spaces. Again, do not worry if your project is curling up a bit. It'll, we'll get it to lay flat. Don't you worry. The petals are supposed to pop up like this. So we're going to start on round 16 and we're going to be making our petals in these chain three spaces. So just as before, chain three, three double crochet, another chain three, and join. Okay, I'm pretty confident you guys got a handle on this and can make all of your petals. You're going to have 33 petals in your 33 chain spaces. Okay, I'm going to continue crocheting around to finish up round 16. Here at the end of round 16, we have 33 petals all the way around. And now what's gonna happen is you are gonna repeat rounds 14 through 16 three more times. So that means you're gonna make two double crochets behind each petal, you're gonna make your chain three spaces, and then you're gonna make your petal. And you're gonna do that three more times. So you're gonna end up with three more rows of petals for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So go ahead and repeat rounds 14 through 16 three more times. It'll bring you to a total of 25 rounds and we'll do the 26th round together. Well, here we are, we're at the end of round 25. I left you to do the last, um, basically three sections of petals on your own. They were just repeat rounds. So you should now see eight rounds of petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we have one more round to go. This is round 26. So let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna chain two and then I'm gonna make three double crochets in that space behind the first petal. Okay. 
Now I'm going to continue around making three double crochets in each of these spaces behind the petals except for when I get all the way back around to my last petal you're going to make four double crochets in there. So let's keep going and I'm going to meet you back at this last petal. Here I am at the last stitch here in this round, round 26. I am going to be making four double crochets in the skip stitch behind this last petal. I had been making three double crochets in all of the other stitches for this round. So the reason we're doing four double crochets in the last stitch is because it is going to bring us to a nice even number of a hundred total crochet stitches around. So at this point we can make an even border on this to make it square. So I'm going to just, you know what, I'm not even going to join this. You can if you want. But at this point we're going to clip off uh, this yarn and you are going to be ready for the second part in making this beautiful petal circle turn into a square. Now, you're gonna see that you have some of this yarn left over. You will want to save this. Okay, save save the your little bit that you have left here of your Bernat Pop um, ball, and you will use this later on to make pom-poms or tassels for the corners of your blanket. Mm -hmm. 